Hi, I'm Denshi, and this is just like a short little video to talk about some options I recommend for FFmpeg when converting audio, video, just basically whatever. I've made a video guide on FFmpeg. This is more of a, just a random tech video to talk about some options that I like to use when I want to compress video or something. So here I have a video called Friend's House, and all it is is some footage at a friend's house. It's got a cool bird, as you can see. And what I'm gonna do is I wanna take this. This is a 98 megabyte file, 98.8 .8 megabytes, quite large, and it's only like 30 seconds long. I want to take this and I want to compress it to something I can share for like 8 megabytes or 7 megabytes. So I'm going to do ffmpeg-i friends house right there. So we selected it. I want to use the libx264 codec. So dash dash c for the codec, colon v for video codec and libx264. I spelled lib incorrectly. Whoops. Um, so that's um, libx264. The thing is, you don't have to specify that because that's already selected as a default codec. So we can just skip directly to the dash CRF option, which is the quality. I'm going to set the quality to 30. So the higher you set the CRF, the lower the quality of the video. So 30 is quite low quality for this is, but I only want to share it with friends. And I'm not like interested in super high quality or whatever. Then I'm going to set the scale. So dash S to 1280x720, so 720p. Because once again, I just want to share it with friends like, a chat room or whatever. So it's not gonna be a super large resolution. They're not gonna expand it to their monitor and take a look at the, the fine details. That's also why the CRF rate is 30. Actually, I might wanna turn that down to like maybe 27 or so because that may be a little bit too grainy even for a chat room, but it's okay. Then I want to set the audio codec. I like lib opus. It's called lib opus. It's a you know, new relatively compression codec. It's quite good, quite good quality, especially good when it comes to music. And it, it's a pretty excellent compression. Now I'm going to give the output file a name. I'll call it friends.mkv. I'll package it up in an mkv file. Or actually, no, I'll do mp4 since that's more common. Just make sure I'm not using the same name because I don't want to override the existing file. I'm going to press enter and off it will go converting it. Not will not take a super long time because x264 is quite quick and it's only like a 30 second video. Just give it a second. All right, so it's done and the resulting file is 7.4 megabytes, which is definitely small enough to share in a chat room. It's a smaller resolution. It's 720p. The quality may not be super high. I mean, this is basically the same since the original video didn't really have this super high quality either. So what about the opposite? Let's say I want to import this into an editing software and work with it as an uncompressed file. Well, I actually have a script for that. It's called uh, V uncompressed, this one. And I'll talk about the options I use in this. So FFmpeg dash I friends house once again. I'll do friends, you know, apostrophes are so annoying in Unix systems. FFmpeg dash I that. We're going to select the codec. I'm going to set it to MPEG4 because DaVinci Resolve and other editing software will prefer uncompressed, well, you know, more uncompressed editing formats like MPEG4 for video because they're more uncompressed, they're easier to work with. And on Linux, it's all that's basically compatible. I don't want it to look like garbage though. So I'm going to do dash Q V zero. So that means there's as little possible quality is kept as much as possible in the uncompressed video. I want to set the pixel format. So pix FMT to UV. I believe actually what I've chosen up, up there is updated 422p. So I'm going to set it to 420p because 420p is a little bit better. These are basically the color format. So that means like how it stores the color information and other you know pixel properties of the actual video. So this is important to make sure it's a very uncompressed and easy to work with video. And the most important thing of all, at least second most important, the audio has to be set to PCM underscore S16 LE. Not exactly the most memorable code Codec, but this is what many editing softwares will prefer. I'm going to call the output file. Okay, I might have accidentally. Wait a second. What have I done? PCM S16 LE. That's okay. I'm not going to call the output file uh, PCM S16 LE. Okay, whatever. Okay, so now it will work. I'll have that copy pasted in the description anyway. So this is for uncompression. So as you can see, it's taking less time because uncompressing takes less time. There you go. It's done. So we have friends.mob uncompressed. And as you can see, it's 102.5 megabytes, which isn't super far off from the original one, but it is still uncompressed video and the quality is basically the exact same except this time if I were to open up DaVinci Resolve you'll notice that this file I cannot import that it doesn't really import it just import, imports an empty file but this file I can import and I can work with its audio as well I can do things like you know it comes out with audio and I can scrub through it and I can actually work with it and this format of just uncompressed video is easier to work with because it's easier on your CPU because it doesn't have to uncompress the video as you're editing it so doing that 
pre young compression is actually quite useful if you're editing. And especially if you don't have a CPU that really wants to be dealing with that. Or if you just want to be, you know, resource, resource managing, resource restrictive, resource minimalist. I don't really know what it's called. Anyway, on to audio. As I said before, I really look quite like lib opus as a compressed audio format. So if I want to take one of these files, like uh, let's do friends.mov um, right there. And I want to take this and I want to convert it to audio. So let's say friends. Uh, mp3 for example, it will automatically assume the encoder I want to use. So you'll see that over here, it identifies that we're using a PCIM S16LE, so that's what we specified when we wanted to uncompress, so turn this one into this one, but now it's turning the thing into lib mp3 lame, so the lame encoder, which is what is normally used in mp3 files. The audio quality, obviously you can't hear it, but the audio quality is essentially the same, apart from a couple of things. So if I wanted to just take the existing audio in this and convert it to something I can use in DaVinci Resolve, I'd take this and then I would convert it to friends.wav, which is really, really quick, as you saw, but it's highly uncompressed. It basically just has no compression at all. So what you can do is, well, you should probably take that file, so fmpeg s friends.wav, and then convert that over to friends.flac, which is, you know, just takes basically the exact same amount of time because it's super quick, but it ends up with a more compressed file. So see, this is 4.8 and this is 2.2. And FLAC is also lossless, but it employs compression, lossless compression. So it cuts part of the audio, which is genuinely unnecessary, while not damaging any of the high quality audio. And it basically, you turn out with a smaller file size and the same quality. So FLAC. Anyway, that's pretty much it in terms of the recommended defaults I give to most people. If you want to have a more compressed file, you can always use this amazing uh, libx265 codec. So, you know, cv libx265 and then convert to friends.mp4. And you'll notice that, as you can see, it's, it's much slower because it's a lot more compression. At least it's normally a higher quality of compression. But you'll end up with a higher fidelity file and something that is genuinely at lower file size than a regular one, although not all things can actually read X265. So I don't really recommend it for a lot of websites. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video about these default recommended tips for FFmpeg. If you want to see more FFmpeg tip videos like this, then feel free to ask questions and give suggestions in the comments. And I uh, you know I've been Denshi. Goodbye.